not all sunshine and happiness in these parts. This ice cream business has fallen on hard times. True blow to the local economy. And summer. Speaking of fallen... Seems the only ice cream left around here is on the ground, which is fitting for this sketch about low calcium levels, or hypocalcemia. Have a closer look at that splattered treat to remember that hypocalcemia is defined by a total serum calcium of less than 8.5 milligrams per deciliter. Serum calcium exists in two forms, chocolate and vanilla. I wish. Ionized free calcium is the active form, while bound calcium is the inactive form. Bound calcium is mostly bound to plasma proteins, particularly albumin, and to a lesser extent, inorganic anions, phosphate and citrate, for example. Free, you say? Well, the price is right, but uh, exactly how long has this milk been sitting in the direct sun? You'll notice that the straps on the bound milk are blue. That's because alkalosis promotes binding of calcium, which will cause the ionized free calcium level to drop, similar to what my stomach will do after drinking this sun-warmed milk. <laughs> Yum. Since a portion of serum calcium is bound to albumin, Low albumin levels can cause the calcium level to appear low, even when the ionized calcium level is actually normal. This is called pseudo-hypocalcemia. The corrected calcium can be obtained by adding 0.8 to the calcium level for every one gram below the normal albumin value of four, which explains the rationale behind this corrected prices sign. All right, now that we have a flavor for what hypocalcemia is, let's take a look at its clinical presentation. Eh, poor kiddo. Hadn't heard the news until just now. It's practically seizing at the thought of summer without ice cream. Alas, let this stunned character remind you that tetany is a hallmark of hypocalcemia. The neuromuscular irritability can manifest as paresthesias, hyperreflexia, muscle spasms, and, yeah, even seizures. Perhaps... Part of this store's problems have to do with its marketing plan. A winking clown for a logo? I mean, that's not a creepy. Though, it is memorable, and should help you remember that hypocalcemia can cause a positive chivostex sign, which is an ipsilateral contraction of the facial muscles caused by tapping the facial nerve just in front of the ear. In case that clown's face wasn't enough to interest you in an ice cream sundae, this rotating arm is clearly beckoning for business. Or was. It's also demonstrating a positive Trousseau's sign, the carpopedal spasm that can occur when a blood pressure cuff on the upper arm is inflated. <laughs>